I've been trying to get out of bed for an hour. And it's been made very difficult because Hunter's using me <laughs> as a pillow and probably a blanket. So Chloe and I just got to Fiesta Island. We are meeting a new friend that we met at the slabs. We said we were gonna meet at 11. It is now 11.05. So I'm feeling bad for being a little bit late. Send him a message. And he goes, I'm using the bathroom at the Walmart and then I'll leave, see you there. Oh, oh, really? 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 <laughs> I'm going for a walk without you, dude. See you later. Hey, we're here. We're here. Oops. Yeah? We're here. Are you excited? Are you excited? She's like, just get me out of this truck. You know that really satisfying moment when your knee tears through a pair of jeans that you've owned for a while? I wasn't even wearing these when this happened. I just pulled them out of my drawer and they were already torn. I'm very disappointed. She's straight to it. We're still technically in the parking lot section. We haven't even crossed the line yet. <laughs> Come on. that I've been punctual and the person I'm meeting is late. Different person, friend from work, but still. This is fun. <laughs> the kid running the gas station right now that I usually go to uh, just doesn't have time for anything today. So when I went in to get my change, he gave me $12 instead of eleven ninety two because he just didn't have time to count out 92 cents. So I was like, thanks for the discount. <laughs> I hope by now you feel as though I like to keep it honest with you. Let you know where I'm at. Um, so... <laughs> I've been looking around for this doggy diaper 
that I put on my boys. Because Hunter's old, and just in case, you know, you never know. And then Pip's just occasionally really, he's an a-hole. And so I put it on him, just in case. Uh, I had it in my hand, and then suddenly I couldn't find it. And I'm thinking, where the hell is this, is this diaper? I can't find it anywhere. I go to, I go to fix my, my sweater. Oh! There it is! <laughs> Welcome to my day! <laughs> uh, let's get into the fact that it is now February. It is February, and you know what that means? That means my budget has renewed itself. Um... January was the first day that I applied my $500 budget. And I gotta be honest, uh, I went over by $25.86. I couldn't even make it through the first month. <laughs> so I'm going through, looking at my stuff. I got dog food, um, dump station. Dump stations in San Diego are not cheap. Um, the cheapest one that I had found in the past was $10. And when I went to go dump there, apparently right after I left San Diego the last time, uh, 10 months ago, is when they decided to up it $5. So 10 to $15. Um, the really big punches to the budget that I'm seeing, and I'm going to probably put a picture of my little thing. It's not very fancy. I went to the numbers on my phone and on my computer. It has it too. Um, and just basically a description of what I bought and the amount that I spent, and it adds it all up at the bottom. It's not fancy at all, um, but it keeps me honest. Uh and I sent out some mail last month, um, like boxes of things, uh, and I don't do that every month. So that's $35.57 that I'm not going to spend this month or probably any other month unless I just start shipping things around, which I don't really see happening in the near future. Um, but so... I don't know if I mentioned this, but I, I use my dad's truck when I'm in town because the gas mileage is better, obviously, and because it's just nicer for the dogs to not have to be moved around uh, every time I have to go to work or go to do something. And so I use his truck, and I was doing the math. When I went to the women's RTR, it cost me $135.71 in gas. That was for a two-day trip. For somebody who's on a budget of $500 a month, that's a big chunk of the budget just right there. Um, my gas expenses in the truck, which get me to work five days a week, um, actually to and from work twice a day, five days a week, because I come home uh, and to take care of the dogs and to make food and stuff. Um, and I just prefer not to bring the van to work for a number of reasons anyway um, that I won't get into right now. But for the whole month of January, I spent $118.66. I spent more less <laughs> in the whole month of January on gas to go to work than I did for the weekend of going to the women's RTR. Um, and it's not far. It's not far away. It's just gas is expensive. I feel like for me personally and for a number of people I've spoken to, gas really is your biggest expense in terms of bills that, I mean, I'm not talking about like paying off debts or anything. In terms of bills that you have to pay uh, monthly, um, I pay more in gas 
than food, which is wild. So looking at that, I was thinking about, I actually went to, I already told you this in the last video, I went to the slabs um, for two days. And so right now I'm sitting on E in my van uh, because I haven't gone to fill it up, which I will do this month, um, obviously. But I don't, I had kind of an idea that I was going to go back to um, visit another group of people who are probably about 50 to 75 miles away. And, but I, I don't have two days off in a row, so it would really be for just one day. And I'm trying to decide if that makes sense to do because I don't know. Towards the end of the month, last month, I was starting to get that, like, I crave a certain kind of food, but I already went over the budget, um, which really bothers me that I did that. <laughs> It wasn't excessive, but come on, I can't even stick to something easy like that. Um, so, so yeah, now I'm like second guessing as to whether or not it's worth the financial chunk out of my budget to go just to visit people for a day. Um, not to say these people aren't worth it, they totally are. Um, but life decisions you gotta make. Um, I'm not, I'm budgeting this way for a specific reason. And it's not because that's all I have to spend. It's not, I'm saving, I'm saving up because I don't want to do this job forever. It's not a forever job. It's a for now job and it's doing exactly what it needs to do. It's paying my bills and giving me something to put away. Um, and the reason... I get so worked up about the fact that I already went over in the first month, my goodness, is because um, that's $25.86 I don't have when I get back on the road. It's weird. It's this weird uh, dance that I'm doing to, this is the first time I've ever actually given myself a budget. And I'm, I'm slightly disappointed in myself that I failed the first month. Um, but I feel like I'm going to be a lot better off this month because there aren't really any gatherings and people are actually moving in this direction. Some people are. Um, so any kind of gathering I go to from here on out until I hit the road again should probably be in town or I shouldn't go at all. Um, I'm just, I feel like I should be staring at you, but I'm like staring at my budget like, where did I go wrong? Um, so yeah, that was a lot of talking. So yeah, let me know if this is even remotely interesting to you and if this is something that I should do at the beginning of every month, kind of go over what I did financially the month before. Um, if y'all could care less. If y'all couldn't care less, let me know that too, because I don't want to waste your time. I appreciate you being here, and I want you to want to be here, so I'm not trying to just fill my feed with, is it called a feed? I don't know. I'm not good at this YouTube stuff. There's so much to learn.